Check, 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 check it out. All right. So I just got my Black HTC One a couple days ago. My full review is currently exporting, but it's going to take another two hours. And then it's going to take like three hours to upload the 12 gig video. So I was like, hey, instead of signing in all my Google accounts, instead of resetting this phone up all over again, why not just install a ROM from Viperboy instead of, um, you know, resetting it all up, or all, all up again when I want to install this ROM anyway, because it gets rid of a lot of the crap that I really don't like on my phone, and it's a ROM made by somebody that's been making ROMs for a long time, a Viper Boy. So it's super, super simple to get this thing in recovery. Just simply hold the power button, and then press restart, and while it's restarting, hold the volume down button. If your device is powered off, all you've got to do is hold the power button and the volume down button for a second, and then keep holding it. At some point, you can let go of power, but I don't know exactly which point that is. Uh, kind of like right now, I'm not holding power, but I'm holding down the volume down button, and it will get me into the bootloader, which will get us into Torp Recovery. So um, press volume down, and then press the power button, and that chooses your Torp Recovery, uh, because that's the recovery that the developer and I personally recommend you use as well. And then it's gonna reboot us there. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my USB OTG cable. You do not have to do this, but since this phone only has internal storage and it doesn't have an SD card, I don't wanna accidentally wipe my internal storage and have my Nandroids and uh, my ROMs and everything all, you know, deleted. So um, this is just a couple dollars. I can link to these in the description. They're very cheap. I think this one was like $6 and I got to use Amazon Prime and it got to me within like two days. So plug it in there, starts lighting up, letting us know that it's working. And then what he recommends that you do is go to backup. And then I would, I would recommend these three options, backup, data, and system. And then you can set the backup name, like stock with root, press go. My bad, I didn't mean to back it all the way. And then also enable compression to save storage to make the file size smaller. And then um, by default, it's going to get stored on your internal storage. You can press USB OTG if you have one on there like I do. And then press back. And then swipe to back up. Now, I've not customized this phone. I've not signed into my Google account or anything. And there is a um, link to a RUU, which I personally used. And I will make a video on how to flash stock. I used it to flash my silver HTC One stock before I went to Sprint and swapped the silver out with the black one. So I will do a video on how to flash stock, but it's just so simple. You literally just run an RUU. Unless like for some reason you plan on going back to your stock ROM, there's, I mean, it's up to you whether you back up or not. Especially if you're like me and you haven't even signed into a Google account or anything. So you just swipe to back up. But I'm not gonna do that. Under wipe, he recommends choosing advanced wipe using Dalvik, Cache, Data, and System. Those four options right there, and then swipe to wipe. And then that's gonna wipe all the, the four things that he recommended this wipe. So I'm gonna go back, and then I'm gonna choose back again, back, install, and then um, you can choose wh where your ROM's at. If it's on your internal storage, choose that. If it's on your uh, USB cable, choose that. Press back, and then there's the Viper ROM right there. Just swipe to install. And I'm gonna go ahead and just fast forward through this. Real quick, the case on my phone is from Cruiser Light. I have a YouTube playlist full of HTC One videos from unboxing the silver HTC One, the black one, uh, how to disable the system write protection. There's gonna be a video on in there, how to flash stock soon. There's, of course, I'm putting this video in there as well. So like all of my HTC One videos are consolidated in the one playlist and I have in order by the date that I made them. So it should be really easy to find this one you're looking for. Because trust me, I'm gonna be doing a review of this ROM after I've played with it for a week. I might even, today's Wednesday, I might even do the review Monday to be honest with you. I'll use it until my, the screen turns off automatically um, unless you change that. It's just an option inside Twerp. So don't freak out, but. Monday I have every intention of doing a review of this ROM since I'll have today, which is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to play with the ROM and see how I like it. So we're done. All we gotta do is press reboot system and let's see what kind of splash screen that Viperboy has made. I think SWM6180, I might have had those letters and numbers mixed up, but I think he's part of this as well, so credit goes to him. I know Viperboy mentions him in his post. Oh wow, 
Yeah, that was a black HTC One thing. That was sick. Oh, Viper ROM, check that out. That's freaking. That's awesome. Like that's that is a awesome freaking boot animation. This ROM can get updated by Glue Manager, which is an app available in the Google Play Store, and that app will also update your Torp recovery to the latest version. You've got to manually go in there and like press menu, install script recovery, press yes, and then you got to see if uh, if it's newer than the one you have. If it's not newer, then you can just press no. If it is newer, then I recommend installing it. That's just a really simple way of updating your recovery on your Torp recovery on your HTC One and pretty much any other Android device out there. And his app also allows like um you'll get ROM updates through Goo Manager. So if you're running like an older version, it'll notify you. It'll say, hey, you know this ROM is available. Do you want to like an update to your ROM is available? Do you want to download it? And you're like, yeah, sure, why not? No need to hook your phone up to your computer or anything. It's freaking awesome. All right, looks like it's booted up. Now that did take a long time, so just know that it's going to take a minute. So start, connect to Wi-Fi. This right here, I have no idea why this little Qualcomm thing pops up. Um, connected, whoa, what was that? Connecting to server. I guess I grant it. Shoot if I know. Start from scratch. Skip. Then you can set up all your accounts here. Alright, so I'll go ahead and sign into all of my accounts. I'll press next. Next. Agree. No, I want to go ahead and just press next. That's going to be the name of my phone. And it's finishing setup. Sick, look at that. That is freaking awesome. Oh, and he's got like one, two, three, four, five by default. If you drag this down, let's see what the grid size is. Oh, five by six. Look at that. That's freaking that's awesome. Custom, alphabetical. Dude, that's a lot of icons in one screen. That's dope. Because if you have a lot of freaking apps, it's all right there available for you to see in your face and let's go to the play store and let's make sure there's no apps that i don't want downloading awesomeness now let's check this out real quick pressing home takes us home nice and there's blink feed on the left there so i'm curious about something what if we hold the power button down awesome we have restart screen capture like a screenshot that's nice. You've got your vibrate. And then you can put it back on loud or, you know, sound. Uh, hold it. And if you choose restart, you've got bootloader, recovery, safe mode, hot boot, and reboot. Very, very, very nice. And hopefully you, should, you can see that, but there's a little number inside the bolt. Well, it's, it's inside the battery icon, but it's outside of the, they don't put it inside the green thing. So that's freaking sick. So instead of just knowing, hey, my battery's full. Hey, my battery's three fourths full. Hey, it's half full. Hey, it's quarter full. Hey, it's dead. You get like an accurate reading. It comes with titanium backup. You can read everything that he puts inside his OP, uh, the original post. I'll link to that thread in the description of this video below. So please make sure you check that out. I'll also have again a playlist full of all my videos in HTC One. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're excited to see the full review of this ROM, please give this video a thumbs up. I'm honestly gonna rock this thing. When I do my video on how to go back to stock, I'm gonna make an Android backup on this thing right here. Then I'm gonna relock the bootloader, flash it stock, make a video on that, and then I'm gonna reroute it all over again. I'm gonna put my flash drive in there and I'm gonna restore my Android. So I'm gonna keep using this ROM and I'm gonna try out some other ROMs and yeah. So please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. If you don't, you will seriously miss out on a lot of videos. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.